Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Um, so today we're going to be building the lemur enclosure. Uh, also, I apologize if there's background noise. Um, anyway, so starting off with the null barrier, well I was going to start off with the null barrier first. Ended up deciding not to do that. Um, we're going to put all the chain link in first um, and then go and do the null barrier. So, it, it came out good I'd say like I enjoyed the way the enclosure came out but I do think that I could have done a better job if I took my time but this was already going on like two and a half hours of building and I was at the point where I was just getting frustrated because things weren't lined up correctly and stuff like that so I definitely could have done a better job um, I also just don't fully know what's in the game in terms of construction so I kind of just did what I could with what I knew was in the game. I did buy that Twilight and Aquatic DLC. So we'll probably make a video on some of the animals from that or something at some point. But um, yeah. Because um, I, I, I want to use the Fruit Bat to do like a walkthrough uh, exhibit. So. But um, yeah, so I'm going for just a square. Just a nice little square. Well, it's pretty big, I'd say. But going for just a good square, um, just so, just so it's simple, you know? Because I wanted to do kind of like a dome kind of thing, but then I was like, if I use chain link, it's going to be hard to kind of do that because it has a border and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, throwing in the chain link, putting in the habitat gates, the, the uh, staff gate, the walkthrough gates, just putting those in so that I can build around them <clears throat> which I think in all reality I could have just threw this anywhere now actually yeah now that I think about it I could have just put these inside the chain link and now I kind of wish I did that so I wouldn't have to do what you'll see later fuck I, I keep forgetting that construction equipment doesn't like exist to animals and uh and uh visitors because they just walk straight through the construction stuff you need like some kind of barriers to make them not do it so i could have literally hmm, i could have just straight up put the the doors in the chain link and it would have looked much cleaner so i had to do some funky shit over here because it didn't line up and it was a big gap. It's because I didn't place everything the exact same way the whole way throughout. So ended up just doing some funky stuff. Um, so I, 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 I work with what I got. I'm throwing in some chain link just everywhere to fill in the gaps. Um, and this is where it gets a little like, oh, I wish I kind of thought about what I was doing a little more. I don't think it came out bad, per se. I just think it could have been better um, than what it is. So, but I did it in a way where it looks good enough, um, you know, so. And then I'm going to throw in some poles to kind of just block the seams and stuff. Just so it looks a little cleaner. Um, I do, I did find out that these are climbable, these poles, so I had to turn that off later once we had the lemurs. But, um, yeah. So we have, in total, we have, I think it's three of the red lemurs, two of the black and white roughed lemurs, and then two of the ring-tailed lemurs is what we ended up with, I believe. So there's quite a few lemurs in here, and it's a fairly large enclosure, so should be pretty good for them for a long time but yeah i'm just adding in, in these beams to kind of hide the the seams and then now i'm doing the second row because i want it too high um which the roof is probably where i had the worst issue with and i don't know why i thought everything was straight for the most part <clears throat> and it just wasn't so it is what it is it gets it, i mean i fix it later so it's not too Sorry, I accidentally paused the uh, recording. But it could have been a bit better, I'd say. But, I mean, I did what I could. Um, and now, in the future, now that I'm thinking about it, I could have just put the doors in the chain link and it would be fine. 
So next time, that is what I will do. Um, but yeah, overall, it, it was a fairly simple build. I think I was in my head too much when I was talking about it uh, a couple episodes ago. I think I was just in my head too much, simply just overthinking how bad the enclosure was going to be to build. And it really wasn't too bad. It just sucks though, because it, it it doesn't it's not walls. So if it will if it was walls, I could build it on a grid. But because it's the mesh fencing, it just doesn't build on a grid for some reason. Which I mean sucks, but it is what it is. I wish they had just a mesh. Oh, they do, huh? They have a chain link barrier. I literally could have just used a chain link barrier. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have to take a look at that after, uh, I'm done building this, when I, we go and check it out closer. But I'm pretty sure there is a chain link barrier, and I'm dumb as shit, because I could have just made it, like, fucking 50, 40 feet tall, and then just put a roof on it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not very smart. But, um, yeah, so... Putting in the roof, this is where things get a little wonky because shit is crooked for some reason. Um, stuff just doesn't line up at all. Uh, which was rough, but... <clears throat> I think the enclosure as a whole looks good, though, when it's done. So There's just little things here and there that I definitely could have worked on. This was so tedious, too. It was such a tedious process. So now I'm putting in the chain link right there just to fill in the gap. Make it look uh, good. Uh, the best we can and yeah i think i think i mean i think it came out fine especially from a distance it looks fine now realizing that i should have just done that sideways too because it would have just clipped into the pillars and i wouldn't have to have to do two rows <laughs> yeah yep yep i'm realizing things now that i'm done building it so i might go back and fix it at some point it, it's not worth a video me fixing it but I might go through and fix it at some point. But yeah, the roof, it was it was just very crooked. I don't know why. Uh, I ended up not even fucking with the roof, though. Like, fixing it at all. Uh, just because the gaps are cosmetic anyway. So. It's not going to affect the enclosure too much. Um, but, yeah, just throwing in chain link everywhere. Doing the big 4x4s, four four, and I end up, I think I have to, yeah, I have to do two here, which I don't, oh, I don't think I do. I don't remember what I did when I built this. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'm doing the 2 by one then filling in the gaps like that. Which looks alright. <laughs> you could see where it overlaps in the middle there, it's darker. Just kind of taking a look at it, seeing if I'm in, like how it is. And I mean, from a distance, it looks really good. The only issue is when you look close. <laughs> the enclosure definitely has some flaws. As you can see, the chain link just doesn't line up into some parts for some reason. I don't, I don't know what I did. Um. <clears throat> But just doing the same thing over and over. This is probably the most boring build ever, too, because it's literally the same thing over and over. I'm checking the store because I didn't have lemurs yet. I had a couple of them, but not many. So I checked them. Ended up buying duplicates on accident. And then I still had to buy more after we finished the enclosure. I also went through... Oh, sorry. I also went through the zoo and... Um, Got rid of uh, a lot of the younger animals that were birthed in the zoo that can't breed with anything. Because it would be their parents or stuff like that. So I, I purged a lot of the uh, flamingos. I got rid of zebras. I got rid of sable antelopes. Uh, I got rid of tortoises. I got rid of, I think, an uh, otter and a red panda as well. And then there's quite a few where I'm waiting for them to just mature before I release them to the wild. <clears throat> but, yeah, there's a lot of animals in my zoo. There's a lot more animals in the zoo than I thought there were. Let's just say that. Um, and, like, 30 of them were fucking flamingos. Because, yeah, they, they breed a lot. They breed a lot more than you would think. 
There's a lot of those motherfuckers. And that was the issue <laughs> with a lot of the enclosures I noticed, too, when I was doing that. Is a lot of them simply had too many. Um, I got rid of that beam. I was I ended up just fixing the fencing there. That beam I couldn't get straight uh, for some reason. I was just having a tough time. But um, I, I noticed that was the issue I was having with a lot of the enclosures too, in terms of like stress and stuff, is they were hungry. And I think it's simply because there's too many animals in there and not enough feeders. So. I do need to add another feeder to the flamingos, but other than that, uh, everything should be good. Now, the, f the ostriches are still going to freak out every now and again, and there's nothing I can do about that. I, I might add another fe uh, feeder into that enclosure as well, but the ostriches, they just they freak out no matter what anyway. I can't do anything about that. <sighs> But yeah, just throwing a chain link on the roof now. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I thought the enclosure came out good. I, I the roof was my big thing that I did not like about it. But I mean, I could definitely go through and fix it in the future if I want. <clears throat> Make it look a little better once I get better at the game. Um, so now throwing in null barrier, uh, basically just lining it up with the. Uh, chain link the best I can uh, it's either going to be on the chain link or just on the inside of the chain link uh, whichever I can do without having to fidget too much so but I think it overall it came out real good I enjoyed it um, and then I'm going to raise it super high so that they can't climb out or anything stupid <clears throat> and then add it to the work thing and start putting lemurs in here and getting it all figured out. And this is where I run into my first issue. I found out <laughs> that those poles are climbable. And he climbed straight up to the roof and he sat up there. <laughs> he just sat up there and did nothing else. So I had to go through to each one, make it so they're unclimbable. And then see, I just fixed that and delete it. Boom, fix it. And then I was like, what the fuck happened here? What the poles on the doors just went up as well. And then trying to fix the pole, there we go. And then make those unclimbable, fix the pole, because it should not be that high. And then he moves and we're good. And then I try to fix this. It's still broken. They still escape every now and again, but then it fixes itself like right after. So I'm just going to leave it. It should be fine. But yeah, the null barrier just is, does not work right there for some reason. It's only with the babies, I think, too. Um, so I'm going to put in the natural pathing because um, I do think that looks the best for these uh, enclosures as it just... It doesn't like interfere at all with the environment of the enclosure. And then I'm deleting this whole pathing and because I want the path to be right butt up with the enclosure. So as you can see right there, it's right butt up with the enclosure so that you don't have to enter it if you don't want to. I was trying to move all of those. It wouldn't let me like I was trying to group them. Um, and then now here's when we get into the enclosure building. So I'm going to do the soil along the pathing because they do need a little bit of soil at least. And I think it looks best if it's right on the pathing because kind of lets you know that it's a used spot. Uh, put a little bit of sand in the corner because that's where their hard shelter is going to go. It does state that they have a hard shelter before I put one in. I still just threw a little pre-made one in real quick. Um, <clears throat> so putting in enrichment, food, and water. I do end up putting in a pond. I wasn't going to before, but I mean, you, you guys know how I am. Every enclosure looks better with the pond. Um, so adding just a couple of pre-made climbable things, just because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to make in here. So those are kind of placeholders. I'll probably mess with them later. I just didn't really think about the climbing until I was already building the enclosure. And I wanted to make sure they were at least happy. So I just threw something in there real quick. And then same with the structure. I might build my own. But I do think this hard shelter looks pretty good um, for what it is. So 
threw that in the corner. Um. <clears throat> And then I was like, it'd be kind of cool to have it go over the thing and let them climb over the path. So I was going to do the wood, but I would have to do a very steep incline right here so people could still walk under it. So I kind of just said whatever, and I went with the metal, and I just painted it brown. So I think that it came out really good, the metal. Uh, I think it's nice to have just a little way for them to get across without having to walk through the path. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so, but, yeah, I did do all the climbing on one side, I don't know why, oh, sorry, I don't know why, but, that's what I did, and then I was like, oh, they need a little bit more grass, cool, and then the ring-tailed, I was like, oh, I didn't buy a female, so I do have to buy a female, you'll see that in a second, I think, um, and then I'm just throwing in miscellaneous, uh, plants uh doing the pond now because i was like it, it does need a pond it, it just looks so much better to have some form of natural water instead of uh and then i added some mist to it which i kind of want to go and do with the uh the uh uh timber wolves because it'd be it's a snow biome so ha adding some mist to the water would make it seem like a hot spring kind of thing which i think would be dope so I think I want to add some mist to that. And then I was... <laughs> this is one thing where I was literally just being lazy as shit. I wanted to put these vines up along the, this whole row on that side, right? Just to cover up that all the staff stuff. Then I was like, nope. Not doing that. I was like, hell no. Because I have to keep readjusting it. It's not as simple as copy and pasting it like the chain link was. And even the chain link came out a little fucking funky, so... I uh, added in some vines on the roof just so that there is, like, some kind of green up there. Adding in some little trees and stuff. It's a lot of the same kind of tree as well because there's not very many options for, like, little stuff. And then adding some leaf litter just to fill in the ground a little bit. And then that's basically it. There's not very many options in terms of plant for their environment, which does suck. I might go and add some things that don't belong for them, but, uh, and then now I'm doing education, which is a little iffy, because it is for three separate, uh, animals, so you do have to split up the education among the three of them, so it makes the most sense. Sadly, that far, uh, speaker I put down to was, um, too far from the animals, so I, can't, I had to delete it. But, um, yeah, and then now I'm just going to go through, add the bins, the benches, things like that, do my normal, usual stuff. And then, yeah, so two, two bins, one recycle, one trash, our benches, and then our lights. Uh, um, and then I do add the donation bins and the keep quiet signs and things like that so that hopefully they don't get stressed out from people and things like that, so... Adding in the donation bins, as you can see. And, yeah. Then the signs, like I was talking about. Just a real quick thing. couple here. Not too many, but enough that hopefully they should be fine. I have them being quiet and not feeding them. So, we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, that's it. So, uh, let's hop into the game and take a closer look at them. Alright guys, and this is what the enclosure looks like. I think it came out really good. I do have gaps to fill in uh, at some point, whether that be, uh, how can that not be reached? Or don't do your job. I want to make sure she can get to it. I don't want it to get empty. They let the other ones get fucking empty. It's so no she's not doing anything. She just comes in here and says woohoo and leaves. 
Dude, there's no way she can't get to that. She can. She could get to that one, too. I don't understand the fucking issue. But, so this is the enclosure. Uh, like I was saying, there is gaps I fulfill in right here and right here. And then I gotta put in stuff to block the, uh, the uh, staff area. I, got, I think I'm gonna move this pathing, like move these back a little bit. So that I can make this path a little straighter, so that I can put in bushes on this side of the fence. And then I have this big hole area right here to put something in as well. I might just extend their enclosure because I want to make it so that they can go on top of this rock. So I might extend their enclosure this way. Um, I'm not sure just yet though. Um, but yeah, so the enclosure itself though I think came out really good. Yeah, people walking through. See, that's the mist I was talking about. It looks really good. But this is their enclosure. They all seem to be happy. We got that other ring-tailed in here. And yeah, they'll probably all be over here for the most part because this is the uh, climbing area. But they do have a little bed area over here and miscellaneous enrichment all around. So I think it came out really good, though. It's a nice little walk-through enclosure. Ain't no fucking way you catch me walking around with lemurs, though. But yeah, I think this whole enclosure ended up being really good um like i said though there's gaps to fill in um but i think we'll leave that alone for now and we'll worry about gaps um in a couple of episodes i think we'll go through and because i never even like cleaned up this area i want to make this i want to basically hide this path make this water look a little nicer over here probably increase it because it's very low um but yeah so there, like, there's stuff like that I want to do. Um, actually, I can't move that water. That's the only issue. Because the barrier, it's obstructed. Yeah, it's uh, it's obstructed sadly. So I can't do anything with the water level, which blows. But it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so couple episodes we'll go through and we'll clean up some more areas like we did here like this area looks so good after we messed with it I think it looks great and then this area also this little this little thing here looks pretty good I'd say it's crazy that people are going right here to view the animals I didn't think they would I'm glad that they are it's awesome I feel really feel like our tigers need more space but that, that says that that's more than what they needed, so. It does kind of suck making them go that way, huh? Instead of just going straight through. It's alright, though. Gives them a reason to walk all the way around. And this loop is helping at least a little bit on people coming over here and looking at the lions. So that's nice. I, I, am I doing any research? That entire time I was building, I didn't get any research. I'm not doing anything. Oh my god, dude, what the fuck? Let's do crocodiles. Fuck, we're gonna have to have multiple one of these going. Um, then let's do... Let's do Sue. And let's have her do the lemurs. I need everything researched, basically. He is still researching. Oh, so see the aquatic stuff got added in here. And I'm assuming so did the twilight stuff. Yeah, they're both in here. Twilight scenery, 206 items. Blueprints, blueprints. I need these researched immediately. Uh, let's see you. We'll, do, we'll have the twilight one go first. I don't know how long those are going to take, but I might sit here and let the research kind of happen just to manage the zoo. I'm not sure. But, um, so we have the next couple episodes planned. So since we worked on this side, I'm going to say we hop over here now and do our next North American animal, which let's take a look at. Let's see what we got here. See what we want to do. Um, cause I know I had a couple of ideas. So we got the alligator, which I think we'll skip on for now. Um, 
because it's not really necessary. Um, the bison, I do want to do a giant shared enclosure. Um, I'm still thinking about that, though. I'm still thinking about how I want to do that. Uh, we got the bullfrog, which could be a exhibit animal, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> we got the arctic fox, which I don't want to do over here. I don't think this fits the area, the general, like, vibe. I think that should go with, like, Asia. So... Uh, prairie dogs are going to be part of the bison enclosure. Oh, shit, we could get skunks in there, too. So we could do bison skunks, uh, and then I think it was some kind of antelope. Hell yeah, dude, that, that's, yeah, antelope and, oh, and the javelina, dude. That enclosure is going to be so sick. It's going to be so fucking sick. Um, so yeah, prairie dogs are going to go in there. Sea lions, we're definitely going to do an enclosure for. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that next, though. Heavily is going to be part of the big one. I do want to do a cougar, which I might do next. Having two predators next to each other might be the move. Kill monster, gray seal, iguana, grizzly bear, also want to do. So, the moose, can they go with anything? No. We'll definitely do a moose, I think, and beaver. Oh, beaver can go with the skunks. So, damn, I might put the beavers in that shared habitat as well. Damn, dude, this 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 shared enclosure might be kind of crazy. I'm definitely going to need my own work zone for this area. Because I could also do the raccoon and the skunk in there. Oh, dude. Red fox would be sick. Yeah, that enclosure is going to be so awesome. And I think the issue over here... I don't know. I don't know the issue over there, to be honest. I'm not making money on these. At all. Um, damn. That's got me thinking. I'm thinking now. Um... Shit, actually, the way this setup is not great either. They always have an issue. Everything in that habitat. So, the, oh, God, dude, this got me thinking. This got me thinking. So, we have a lot of space in this direction. I think I want that shared enclosure, the big one, to be right here on this side. Because I can make that take up a lot of space. Like, a lot of space, I'm thinking. Because it's going to have... It's going to be, like, multiple things in one, you know? It's going to be... Like, we thought this was big and a very cool shared environment. Wait until we see this one, you know? So that... I'm not, I don't know if I want to do that next, though, because that is going to be a lot of work, and I want to put some thought into it beforehand. We'll probably do the same thing we did with this shared enclosure, though, and have some kind of walkthrough above it. And maybe, like, viewing domes as well. Like, right, we could put the viewing uh, entrance right there and put domes around. Because I literally, I think the enclosure is going to take up from, like, right here, basically to the wall, and then down to about right here. Like, it's going to be a huge chunk of this area. And then, this is the only thing I have an issue with, is the way I have the pathing laid out for here. I'm probably going to have to redraw it because the way I want it to be is it won't work in this format unless I put like a path straight down the middle here and put something on this side and something on this side I can do that because they'll probably be I could probably fit one two three four enclosures in this area so, yeah, I gotta, I'm probably gonna just redraw the path. I'm so happy with the way this enclosure came out as well. It looks like a natural kind of enclosure, you know, it looks very, I feel like, realistic to what their own habitat would be in the wild. They're all sleeping. They got puppies and stuff. They're all happy, though, which is good. Very, I'm very happy with the way this enclosure came out. But, um, yeah, so 
next episode we'll be doing something over here. I'm not sure just yet what. But that, that'll that be the next enclosure. It'll probably... I'm going to say it'll probably be like a, the grizzly or the cougar. Um, and then that shared enclosure is going to be a big one. Um... I don't think I don't think it should be too complicated though cuz it is going to still be a normal enclosure. I'm just going to have to think about terrain and stuff cuz I'm going to want rolling hills and things like that and I'm going to want a river going down the middle somewhere. Not down the middle, but I'm going to want a river and a pond because I want to basically build my own dam and have the uh have, like for the beavers, you know. So yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a cool enclosure. I'm going to have to build a staving area right here, I think. But I think it'll be a dope-ass enclosure. I'll be able to do something real cool, I think. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to call it right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hold on. We're going to figure this out real quick so I can give you guys a definitive answer on what we're going to do next. Um... Do, 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 do. The moose. I can also do the moose. I forgot about that already. Th this side actually itself is going to be pretty big, I'd say. See, in the red foxes, they don't need a lot of space, so they can go in that little area right next to the giraffes. Um, I'm going to say... Do I want to do grizzly bear or cougars? The grizzly bears would be really cool to do. And we have a decent amount of their enrichment unlocked currently. But, I mean, the cougars, we should also have a decent amount. They, they take up more space, I think, than the grizzly bears, I think that. If I paid attention to that correctly. Um, only one of each. So, just like the grizzly bears. The relationship to humans is shy. Interesting. So, we would probably want to do some kind of one-way glass, which I think I have unlocked. Um, we have every habitat enrichment for them. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go cougar. Let's see if we can find a good male or female. Um... Why do the males have such an asshole picture and the girls are just chilling? So we could do... I think I'm going to wait. But let's go back and see if there's any grizzlies. If I can find one of those, that's what we're going to do. I want to do the fruit bats because they, they do walk through exhibits. They're the only thing that does walk through exhibits. And these are Africa and Asia. So I could put these really anywhere. Okay. I think I know where I'm going to put those, actually. But let's go to the grizzly. So grizzly. Let's take a look, see if there's any good ones. So we got a solid male here. His immunity isn't great, but it's not too bad. And he's young, which is nice. We got a solid, we got two decent females. They're not anything crazy, but they're not bad either. Um, I think I'm going to go for this male. I'm running low on conservation credits. And then I think I want to go for this female. Actually, I'll wait and buy the female later. So next episode, we're going to be doing the grizzly bears. Um... And we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to redraw this pathing. So. Dude. It's doing that shit again where there's just no one's coming to fucking fix it. another mechanic down which is fine I think I'm gonna hire a mechanic right now and I'm just gonna sit here and let the zoo do its thing 
and I'm gonna hire more vets. I'm just gonna let the zoo do its thing basically, and I'm gonna try to get some research done. But yeah, dude, the flamingos are having issues too. But uh, yeah, so grizzly bears next episode. Uh, I'm gonna have to redraw this path. Um, yeah, this the pathing over here is gonna be weird, I think, because we're gonna have this initial loop here with these three enclosures, and then there's gonna be this little enclosure over here for the foxes, and then we're gonna have the shed enclosure over here. And then there's going to be probably like two, three, probably like four more enclosures on this side of the pathing. So it's going to be a little weird in terms of pathing on that side. But it should be good. The zoo's doing good. Uh, I'm happy with everything that's happening here. So, but yeah, this was a good enclosure to build. I'm happy with the way it came out for the most part. And I'm excited to keep expanding the zoo. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.